Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know that you missed this phrase, and I think that you should tell it to me, because you are always here and I am the one who's absent. So, this is a serious comeback, and I will even stop client work for few months to find time to produce more videos for you. Okay, in today's video I am going to show you how to make symmetric designs, using the live mirror technique. I will show you more than just one method, so make sure to watch to the end of the video, and don't forget to leave a like, and as always, you can ask me anything in the comments section. Have a nice watching. First, let's create a new document. I'll make it 800 by 600 pixels. With the pen tool, make a vertical line in the center of the document. And always make sure to activate the smart guides. Let's name this layer, guide. And click here to lock it. Create a new layer. Then with the pen tool, create a horizontal line across the document. Select the line, choose this option, so you can align objects to the artboard. Then click on vertical align center, and then click on the horizontal align center option. From the layers panel, click on this little circle to select the whole layer. Go to effect. Then distort and transform, and then click on transform. Now check the reflect Xbox, and set the copies value to 1 comma and then press OK. Click on this arrow and make the line layer invisible. Now we got our symmetry template so anything that you draw on the right side of the canvas will be reflected on the left side. Now, I will show you how I use this method to illustrate one of my old design sketches. I already copied the image, so, I go to edit then I click on paste. Sorry, I should paste it in another layer. So, while the sketch is selected, go to Edit, click on Cut. Create a new layer, then go to Edit, then click on Paste. And then bring the layer to the bottom. With the sketch image selected, click on Horizontal Align Center. Now decrease the opacity to the level you want. and then lock the layer. To make everything clear, I'll name this layer, Symmetry. And as I told you, everything you draw on the right side, will be reflected on the left side. So, with the pen tool I start to illustrate only the right half of my sketch, and automatically the left side of the canvas will be updated with every step I do.
Okay, this is the final illustration, but you can't select anything from the left side. What you need to do is to select the symmetry layer, then go to object, and click on, expand appearance. Now I need to join the two sides. Right click, and ungroup the illustration, then repeat it for each side. To join this two lines I need to make this two anchor points overlap. and then select it together, then press Ctrl J to join. This process of joining the two sides of the design is one of the cons of this method. Now, I'm going to show you the same live mirroring technique, but in a more advanced way. You can easily make complex mandalas using this method. So always make sure that the smart guides are activated. Now, make a vertical line across the canvas. Select the line, make sure to select the Align to Art board option, then click on Horizontal Align Center. Then click on Vertical Align Center. Select the line, go to Effect, Distort and Transform, then click on Transform. I'll change the number of copies to 3, you can choose more. Check the preview box to see the change. Then change the angle to 135 degrees, then press OK. Lock this layer, and then create a new one, and make the old one invisible. On the new layer, make a vertical line across the document. And make sure that it's perfectly centered. Then make a horizontal line. Select it and click on Vertical Align Center. Activate the old layer. And while this layer is selected, take the Paintbrush tool, and make a stroke between those two lines. Click on the little circle to select the whole layer. Then go to Effect. Distort and Transform, then click on Transform. Check the Reflect X box, then change the copy's value to 1. And then press OK. Again go to Effect, Distort and Transform, click on Transform. Press on the Apply New Effect button. Then change the copy's number to 3. Check the preview box to see the change. And then change the angle to 90 degrees. Now, we will make a clipping mask on the drawing area, to keep the design clean. With the rectangle tool. Make a rectangle here. Then with the Direct Selection tool select this anchor point, then press on this icon to delete it. 
Now drag this anchor point here, to make a triangle on top of the drawing area. Make sure, that the triangle layer is the first one of the sublayers. Then select the whole layer, and click on, Make or Release Clipping Mask. Now you can draw freely on this area and only the part within the clipping mask will be considered, and anything you draw in this partition will be reflected on the other partitions. And using the paintbrush tool you can easily make any mandala design you want. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. If you like my content, you can activate the notification bell icon, so you get notified every time I upload. See you in another video.